five. We're naming this workout the summer uh, kickoff workout. We're going to do a, a workout every day this week that's going to be from the app, and we are going to have uh, a kind of a summer kickoff. It's June, and so we are getting ready to uh, get ready for the summer, get ready for maybe beach days. Maybe we're going to have, um, you know, a pool day or something like that. I'll tell you guys what, just a few uh, hours ago, maybe two hours ago, I was with my friend Hunter and we were uh, doing a pool workout. We were working on some pool safety and we were working on swimming. We were working on just getting our arms and kind of being just free in the water. So remember, uh, summertime, it gets hot. It's always great, you know, if you have the opportunity to get in a pool to be able to do that, but you want to be safe about getting in the pool. That's always super important. Let's go ahead and drop this microphone down here. And um, everybody, we're going to have a great workout today. Like Ben was asking about, uh, about the green screen, we're not going to use it again today. Let me show you what I did, though, before we get started on the workout, because I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I wanted to get a bar. And this was a straight bar not too long ago. This was a really straight bar. And I wanted to bend it so that we can put it up here, um, maybe for our green screen. So we're going to have a nice wrap around green screen. And I figured this out. I'll tell you what I did, everybody. I drove my Jeep onto it. I drove my Jeep onto this thing. And then I, I used my arms. I used my arm strength, my upper body. I used my core and my legs. And, uh, and I was able to bend the bar up. And, and now we got our bar ready. So I just didn't have time to set it up. But we're going to be getting that green screen going. Today, we're going to be getting our summer kickoff workout going. So I'm going to get in here. And we know I'm not a big fan of being on the phones and the stuff like this. But what we do want to do, remember, if you're on it, get on your TrueFit app. And because today, you can see if you go to your workouts, all right, we got it right there. It says summer kickoff number one. We're going to select that workout and look at that. We got a whole bunch of exercises. We're going to get all these done today in today's workout. And then we're also going to get our warm up in, our breathing mottos coming up. Carrie's going to be doing the breathing motto for us to get things kicked off. I can't wait for that. And then we are going to get our warm up going. Again, we're here in the new studio. We're in San Marcos. We love it here. It's so great. And we got our friends here um, at the Arc of San Marcos, the Arc of San Diego. And we just couldn't be happier uh, getting to work with you all here today. So um, let's see. I'm going to work with Ben here because Zoom's be. Oh, oh, nice. Hey, Sapizio Center. Welcome. Welcome. Kimberly's here and Sandy. Hey, Marco's in the house. Everybody, let's get ready. Our friend Carrie, she's going to lead us off in the breathing motto. I'm ready. I've had a busy morning. Breathe in the good. Breathe out the bad. <sighs> Breathe in the happy. Smile, John. Breathe out the sad. Breathe in your best. Breathe out the worst. Breathe in your best. They can reach your goal first yes nice job carrie that was awesome i already feel a whole lot better in just 30 seconds carrie took us from before the workout to now we're already in workout mode we did our breathing motto we're getting our minds thinking about hey it's time to exercise now and you know with our exercises we also want to be staying hydrated so if you have your water or maybe an electrolyte drink like i got here Go ahead and pick that up. Let's have a sip of our drink there. And we are going to get started with the warm up. So, again, remember, I'm in the new studio here, and you can see we got the green screen here. We got the, the studio side over here. We're not finished setting everything up yet, but you know, I kind of like it. I kind of like it like this. It's real authentic, and it shows everybody that, hey, you know, just like you and, and everybody at TrueFit, we're just trying to do our best with what we have so that we can bring fitness to as many people as we can. So let's go ahead and think about moving our head. Remember, we always start off our workouts by moving our head around. And um, let's go ahead and we're gonna do it in a, a way kind of like our friend Nick, team leader Nick has shown us. Let's go ahead and do it like this. So let's go with a head circle going down, bringing it up. Then let's go ahead and go side to side. Then let's look down 
and up. And then we're gonna ear lift on one side, ear lift on the other side, giraffe head, and then turtle neck. So we're doing all of our neck exercises, all five of them, but we're doing them in order now. So let's do this five times. So we got four more to go. So let's go head circle going down. Maybe you go back the other way too. Head circle. There you go. You can do that side to side. Just kind of doing the side to side, then the down and up. So we're going down and up. And again, maybe you want to do it one or two times. That's okay. Down and up. And then we're going to go ear lift, ear lift. I'm going to do it again. Ear lift, ear lift. And then I'm going giraffe head, turtleneck, giraffe head, turtleneck. All right, that's two. We got two down. Here we go again. Roll the chin down, chin to the shoulder, chin to the chest, and then go into the other shoulder and up. Side to side, going the right and left side with our head. My body's not moving. You can see I got that True Fit Adaptive Fitness t shirt on. It's not moving. Just my chin, just my head. Down and up. Same thing. Look, the shirt's not moving. Just my chin, just my head. Pivoting up here, right? That's where my neck is. My neck goes all the way up into here. My chin's down here, but my neck's up high. Bringing my head down and up. And then what well, we got? Ear lift. I'm lifting my left ear. That's why it looks like I'm getting longer on this side. Now I'm gonna to go to my right ear, lifting that ear. Here we go, this is the last one, here we go. And then we got giraffe head, hold it out. And turtleneck. Nice, great job. Remember, you can warm up your neck. There's a lot of ways that we can get our bodies moving and grooving. I like the breathing motto, followed by that neck mobility drills kind of gets our mind in the game and it gets us connecting with our body. Again, it's very close, our mind and our neck. Look at that. They're not too far from each other. Okay, so imagine again wiggling our toes. That's pretty far away from your mind. So let's go ahead and work our body all the way down to our toes, starting to wake everything up. And I got a really tough question for Nick. Nick, how many nerves, all right? The nerves are what send signals of information throughout our whole body, all the way from our neck down to our toes. How many nerves do you think there are in the body? I don't know. Now, there is an answer to that. There's a, a rough estimate, and somebody maybe on YouTube could find that out. But, you know, I'm not sure what that is. And so I might shrug my shoulders, use my trapezius muscles, and that's going to help to raise my arm up. So let's work on some shrugs. Let's go for 10 shrugs. I'm going to go one, just up and down. Two, three. Good job. Nice. There we go. Four. Five, good job, Salpizio Center. Six, there we go. Seven, doing the shoulder shrug. Eight, nine, good job, Kimberly. 10, all right. Now, let's go ahead and do the shoulder circles. Let's also do 10 of those. So where are we gonna go? One, two, rolling my shoulders around. Three, there we go, we can see that. Four, bringing them forwards. Five, bringing them backwards. Six. Seven, eight, almost there. Keep going. Nine and 10. All right. Now you're already starting to be like, Koshan, I can feel this now in my neck, in my upper back, in my shoulder area. And that's right, because we're getting, we're getting those muscles excited. We're getting the blood to go to those muscles so that they can get uh, warmed up and they can be ready and oxygenated. Whoop, there we go. We got to get that focus. We need oxygen to get into our muscles. It's very important that that happens. It's hot in the new studio, though. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and have a sip of water. We're going to stay very well hydrated in this new studio. All right. Next up, we're going to be moving to the elbows. I'm going to stand up for this one. Remember, you can do this one sitting down. This is going to be the elbow circles. And I'm going to let you at home, you decide which ones you want to do. We're going to do this one for 30 seconds. So however many you do, you can do elbow circles out to the side. All right. This is the side circles. Or you can do the elbow circles with your hands moving at the elbow. Here we go. We're going to go 30 seconds of elbow circles in three, two, one, and go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. Wow, who saw what I was doing there at the end? I was trying to go as fast as I could. Now you can do, as you start to do an exercise, you might feel like, wow, I can go, this is a good speed. And then you speed it up and then you speed it up. And then you really get moving so fast that you find the momentum is now starting to keep the movement going. What I like about that is you can really start to get your brain to focus on that movement and now controlling the speed. So that's pretty neat. And again, when we're going for time, it didn't matter how many I do because uh, uh, Carrie, Carrie had a question in the chat room. Um, how was it? How can you be, get to where you are now? Was that the question, Carrie? To San Marcos? If it's San Marcos, so we're right off the 78 and right of 15 and 78. It's very, very convenient to get here. If you are in San Diego, this is a great place. And the studio is cool because we can do workouts here in the studio. Carrie, you could be here with me just like Nick and Chris and some of our friends will be here in the future. Bernie's going to be here. And so absolutely, if you want to get here, we can get you here. All right, arm circles. I'm thinking I want to do now, I want to do 30 arm circles, not 30 seconds. I want to do 30 arm circles. Uh, I don't know how fast we're going to go. I'm going to let you decide on how fast you want to go. I'm going to do 30. And here we go. Let's go in three, two, one. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, get ready, and 20. Here we go. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Nice. Great job. I saw a lot of you working with me on our speed control with that. So remember, when we're working out our muscles, it's not just all pumping iron. We're working with our muscles, and we're teaching them how to move our body, how to control our limbs, how to control our core. And we want to work on everything from speed to even pressure. Remember, we've worked on things where we're applying strength and pressure. It's all very important. Let's go ahead now and let's do something to move the whole body around. What's a good exercise that moves the whole body around? Um, you know, I like, I have my favorites. Out of my favorite two, I'm going to go for the teacup. That's right. Somebody was saying gumbo pot, but nope, I'm going to go with the teacup. So let's try it out. I love this space here. Look at all the room I got. So I'm going to go over my head and I'm just going to go one time this first time around. I'm going to go across my body. Remember when I go across my body, if you're standing up, let that leg, me and Nick, we were talking about that the other day. Coffee pot, I'm tipping over to the side and then the ground touch, I'm touching the ground. Let's try this one again. So I'm going to go on the other side. So I go over my head teacup. I do a twist reach Ooh, with the foot. Look at that. Tippy toe is key. I'm going to go ground touch and then down to the ground. And now just like team leader, Nick, I'm going to go for two each time. So here we go. So one and two with the teacup, one and two with the twist reach, one and two with the coffee pot and one and two Got the ground touch in. Let's go to the other side for that. And then I think we're going to do that gumbo pot. One and two, getting those obliques. Here we go. One and two. Remember that foot when you do your twisty reach. Here we go. Coffee pot. One and two. And then we're going down to the ground. Hand on the ground. One and two. Nice. Now, I think some of these exercises are in our workout today, our adaptive fitness app workout. We're going to get to that in a minute. I'm going to cruise through this warm up so that we can get to the app 
and we can get all these exercises done. If you're doing them today and you're on the TrueFit app, you can be able to hit that complete workout. And I'll tell you what, there might be a brand new badge just for this week, summer kickoff badge. So get ready. You can only earn it. You can only earn it on the app. All right, here we go. The next one we're going to do, like I said, is going to be that gumbo pot. So if I'm standing up with the gumbo pot, I'm going to be bending my, bending my hips, sticking out my butt. That's the best way to say it. So you stick your butt out and you bring your arms forward. So we go down and out, up and in, down and out, up and in. If I was sitting down like in a regular chair, like in a cafeteria chair or a school chair, I could also, if I was sitting up here, I could reach maybe down and out, up and in, down and out, up and in, down and out, up and in. Now, if I don't want to lean forward, just work on the arms, work on the reach. You can keep your body where it is and work on those arms extending out together. That's what's so great about this exercise is that move where my arms go out and my body's kind of counterbalancing. And so we're using our core muscles to counter our weight and to make sure that we are stable. So if you think about it, this is a good, this is a stability exercise because we're stabilizing our entire spine. Let's do two more. Let's go one way and then maybe switch it up, go the other way. Get that broccoli, that broccoli and cheese that's stuck to the bottom. All right, water break. If we don't do it, I'm sure one of our team leaders was typing it in. Oh, Carla was typing it in. Look at that. Mind reader, Carla, nice job. Ben, could you, can you believe that just happened? I can't believe it. I think Ben muted himself. All right, I got to roll that ball out of the way. I'm getting this ball in here. Right when I was thinking about oh, having a water, water break, Carla hit enter. She was already typing it before I said anything. Good call, Carla. Here we go. All right, let's do a couple more of our, um, of our warm-up exercises, and then we're going to get into our app. We're going to knock out this week's workout, summer kickoff number one. If you don't have the app, you could download it right now before we start, and then that way you'll be able to check off that workout. That would be your first workout you've done. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the core squeeze. Okay, now the core squeeze. Remember, we're just trying to take these muscles right here, our abdominal muscles. If you want to, put your hands on your tummy. I had a guy teach me this a long time ago. Put your hands on your stomach and make, the, make an S sound. Go, and you're going to feel these muscles, they tighten up. Do you feel that? If you just put, you don't have to push hard. Just put your fingers on your, on your belly and then go, and you're going to feel these muscles tighten up. This was a guy, he was teaching me how to use the kettlebell. And he was teaching me that if I would, I would tighten up my core. And so my core would be strong when I had the kettlebell moving. It's a great way to feel those muscles and to think about that engagement when we're doing the tummy squeeze. So I'm going to do two tummy squeezes. I'm going to do 15 seconds. I'm going to do one where I'm standing up. I'm going to have my elbows up and I'm going to be squeezing my tummy. And then I'm going to do one where I'm going to get down on the ground. This is what Nick's going to be doing too. And I'm going to do a plank on the ground for 15 seconds. So first one up, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Elbows up and squeeze the tummy. Squeeze, squeeze those muscles that you were just feeling. Give them a squeeze. Keep going. Keep squeezing them for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. There we go. Nice. We can relax those muscles. It feels good to relax. It always feels good. Now, if I want to do a plank on the ground, remember, if I'm getting down on the ground, I might want to use my hands to help me. So that ground touch, that's important. I got my hands down here. That's going to let me get down to maybe a kneeling position or I can be on my hands and my knees right here. All right, so I'm going to go up and do the plank. 15 seconds on my elbows. If you want to do the plank at uh, standing up or sitting down, just bring your elbows up and squeeze that tummy. So here we go. So I'm already up in the air. I'm squeezing my tummy and it's going to get tough to talk. It's going to get difficult, but I'm going to try to keep my body as flat as can be. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to kneel down, use my hands to kind of push myself back up. And then I'll be in a good position there. If I want to stand up again, 
I might use the ground, but maybe I got a chair by. Maybe I don't need to push it. I can use this chair, put my hands on the chair. That's going to help me get up off the ground. If I don't want to get up too fast, I love finding something just to give me a little boost. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. We just did a tummy squeeze. Next thing I think we got to do is we just got to get, we got to get our whole body moving. And another good way to do that, I like it. It's with the knee tap, elbow tap. So with this one, remember, I'm going to be tapping my knee and tapping my elbow. And I'm just going to go back and forth across my body. I'm going to go for a double tap. Going for the double. I can do that. Can I get a triple? So remember, you got to balance while you're doing this. Here we go. If you're sitting down, I want you to bring that elbow up as high as you can. Try to hold it up as high as you can. And then try to get the, the taps in. I'm going for four. I went for five right there. And again, the taps are giving you something. It's giving you something that you can feel. All right. So it's different. It's different than just waving my arm in the air and just waving. I don't want to do that. I want to tap. I want to feel it. I want to feel my knee. I want to feel my elbow. All right. What I want to do now, I want to go slow. Slow tap. Nice. All right. Slow tap on the other side. All right. Here we go. Let's go. One more slow tap on each side. And then we're going to go for some fast taps. All right, now make sure you don't have anything around you that you could trip on or knock over. But let's try to get in some fast taps. I'm going to go for 10. Get ready. Here we go. I've never done this one before. Three, two, one. Fast taps. I like this exercise. I like this one. I lost count. Two, one. Woo, that was tough. If you were watching on YouTube, you're lucky. You can actually go back and watch. Like I said, I've never done that before, fast. But what was neat was the first two or three, I didn't do very good. I was trying to figure out what do I do? How do I get in the rhythm? And then I got the rhythm and I found the pattern. And, and life is all about patterns. So remember, when we're exercising, we want to work on patterns. We want to make sure that we're allowing our body to learn a pattern because that could make us have a life skill that could be very, very beneficial if we just learned that, that healthy pattern. Let's have another sip of water. We got some cardio in on that. I think we're gonna do two more. We're gonna go smile and frown. I love how Carrie got that smile in on the breathing motto too. That yeah, was great. I always do when to breathe out the bad, I always do little fingers like that because there's not a lot of bad in us. We're a real good team. There's not a lot of the bad to breathe out, but we got a lot of good to breathe in. So much good. It makes me so happy. All I can do is smile. So smile with me. Let's go. Let's go. Five seconds. Smile. Here we go. And a two second frown. Five second smile. And a two second frown. Let's go. One more time. Let's go. Five second smile. And a two-second frown. And we can't end on a frown, so let's do a 10-second smile. Keep those cheeks up. Here we go. I'm not having a good time counting on my left hand. Great job with that. That might have been 12-second smile. Again, smiling and frowning, working with our face, working with that expression remember after about three to five seconds i started to have so much fun started to get feeling happy forgot to count i love it the smile it can make you feel good even on a day when you might not be feeling good just try to put a smile on your face and uh, hold it there for maybe 10 seconds what we got we got another one i'm trying to read oh hands and feet nice call nick we're doing it hands and feet get ready everybody because we are now going to be moving the wrists and the hands. Let's start with the hands. With the hands, what can we do? We can move. We can do wiggly fingers. That's right. We can do wiggly fingers. We can also open our hands real big, close them up real small. So that's right. We can do that open and closing. So we got wiggly fingers, open and closing. Okay. What else can we do? We can do up and down, right? So wiggly fingers, open and closing up and down, right? All right, what else can we do? Wiggly fingers, open, closing, 
up and down, side to side. Now we're using the wrist, right? Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Wiggly fingers. Everybody, I see you all right now. Wiggly fingers. Here we go. Open, close, up, down, side to side. And the last one is I'm looking, I'm watching. Sandy's doing it. Rotation. That's right. Rotation. Let's try it all again from the stop, from the top. Here we go. Wiggly fingers. Open hand, closed hand. Up, down, side to side, and rotation, moving them around. Nice job. Remember, you can do that with your feet as well. Wiggling your toes, squeezing your toes, opening your toes, moving your foot up and down, moving your foot side to side, and moving your foot all around. All right, everybody, let's go ahead. What do we have? That was it, right? Breath holds last. And then we're going to go to the app. And then we're going to go to the leadership. We're going to knock out these app exercises. You still got time. Download it. True Fit Adaptive Fitness. It's in the Play Store, the Apple Store. And you can get on there, sign up as an athlete. And you can join Coach John's team. Get these workouts. And we can get them checked off. Get those badges. All right. Breath hold. Let's do a 15 second breath hold. We did 15 earlier with the plank, 15 second with the breath hold. And remember again, when you blow the air out after 15 seconds, what I want you to think about it is, is how quickly you breathe back in when we're done, when we're done with the breath hold. So here we go, breathing in two and then hold number three. We're gonna breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe and hold. And you'll see right when you exhale and you breathe that air out, you get a real nice little recovery of air. And that's always super nice. It's showing you how your body is going to work with you to make sure that you have that super important thing that your body needs and it needs it all the time and it can't go too long without, it's oxygen. Oxygen, that's the number one thing. What's the number two thing we probably need in our life is water. Number three thing would be good nutrition, healthy food. Number four thing, exercise. Number five thing, we're getting exercise in. What's number five thing? It's one of the most important things too. It's rest. We gotta rest sometimes too. So remember right now we're getting the exercise in, we're getting the hydration in, we're getting the breathing in. It's up to you. You got to eat healthy and you got to make sure that you're resting good. Rest better than me. Remember my daughter, she's only 17 days old. I'm not getting a lot of rest at night, not getting too much sleep. But you know what I do have is I have my True Fit Adaptive Fitness app. And that way I can keep in touch with all of my, all my friends who I work out with and we can do all this. So let's look at this workout. This is summer kickoff workout number one. We're going to roll right into this. If you don't have the app, you could check it out. There's Byron right there, Byron. And we got Byron, Anthony doing the jumping jacks here. We got chair squats with Miguel, the bar twist also with Byron. So I know Byron and some of our team leaders, they're probably going to have us do some of these exercises. I'm going to read off the list. Jumping jacks. All right. Ground touch chair squats, the bar twist, the flag bearer, medicine ball overhead press, a ball chop, a ball slam, and a hula spin. Now, if there's an exercise on there that you want to do, if you're a team leader, Byron, I'm going to save a couple of these for you. And Bernie, I know you're on here. We're going to save the jumping jacks for you too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the chair squats I'm going to do some more ground touches. We're going to do the medicine ball exercises. And, uh, and if Carla's here with the hula hoop, she can do the hula spin. That's going to get us our whole workout completed. So, all right, let's go ahead. We're going to start off with a couple more ground touches because we want to get this checked off. Now, remember on the ground touch, if we're sitting down, we're going to be maybe leaning forward, trying to touch down by our foot or leaning off to the side. If we're standing up, different from the windmill, I'm going to be doing a two-hand ground touch. Let me show you one. So I'm going to go down on the ground with my hands like this ball is going to roll over to me. And then I'm going to go back up. So I'm going to move this ball out of the way so it doesn't get me. 
Let's see what happens if I turn this bright light on in my face too. It's going to be right on me. All right, so here we go. We're going 10 times to the ground. So I'm going, there's one and then back up. I can even go close to my feet too. So I can bring my hands very close to my feet. Three, and then just touch the ground and then just come back up. Now I'm going to go a little further out. Four. Watch how I do this one. I'm going to walk out and then I'm going to walk back up. Five. That's kind of like getting into a little bit of a crawl. Six. Again, I might just go down. I might just do one hand. That's okay too. Seven. Again, reaching down, just doing the other hand. Eight. Now, if I can't quite make it down, I might just try to go as far down as I can. Nine. Or if I had a chair, I could do this one. I could just reach down. Put my hands on the chair. I'm not going all the way down, just to the chair. This one's going to be number 10. I'm going to push off that chair, use my legs to bring me back up. So there we go. We just got that ground touch in. I'm going to check that one off my list here, and I'm going to find my medicine ball. I got one right here. All right, remember everybody, Carla, she's done a lot of medicine ball exercises with us before. You can find these for under $10, under 10 bucks. You can get a medicine ball, or if you don't have a medicine ball, you could even get like a basketball or a soccer ball. You could find those for maybe even a dollar. All right, we have on our workout the medicine ball overhead press, the chop, and the ball slam. So we have three exercises. Let's do each one 10 times. So with the overhead press, we're going to be reaching up and down. All right, we're going to hold the ball kind of close to our chest here because we're strong here. We're not as strong out here but we're real strong here. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go up and down, going one, two, and if I was sitting down, the same thing applies. Three, I'm just gonna be lifting straight up. Four, here we go, if I'm sitting down, I'm gonna, even if I'm using my backrest, I'm just gonna lift up, down, and I'm trying to lift the ball up over my head, not over the front of my head, but over my head. Watch, I'll show you if I get real close. Check this out. That ball's going to go up, and it's, it's right over the top of me and back. Now watch the difference on this one, reaching out here. That one is going to make my shoulders work a lot harder than this one, where it's right over my head, bringing it up and down one more time. All right, nice. That's the medicine ball overhead press, all right? If you want to make that one easier, you can get like a lighter medicine ball, even doing it sometimes with one hand. That can be really good. Now, the next one that we're going to do, we're going to do the chop before we make a bunch of noise in here. We're going to do the chop. Now, the chop, again, if you're sitting down, you we're thinking low to high. So we're going to do five on each side with this, where I'm going to bring the ball down over here on the one side of my body, maybe like I'm putting it in my pocket, and then I'm going to take the ball and bring it up over my shoulder. So I go pocket, shoulder, pocket, shoulder. Now, if you don't have a ball, Remember, you can always get that ball of energy. Oh, I just got my ball of energy out. And so again, I'm going pocket, shoulder with my ball of energy here. Pocket, shoulder. I'm going to do one more on this side, and then I'm going to switch it up. Pocket, and then shoulder. Bring that ball of energy in. Spin it around a little bit. Toss it up and down and catch it a few times. All right, here we go. Pocket, shoulder on the other side now. Remember, I'm using my ball of energy that's why you can't see it. I can see it. It's teal blue. It's beautiful. It's like the ocean, like a wave. I can see dolphins swimming around. Let's go one more. Let's make it six. Here we go. Six on each side and good job. So remember that chop, whether we're using a medicine ball, we're using a ball of energy or a sports ball. We're just thinking about doing that twist and going low to high. So different than this, it's down here and up here. All right, the next exercise you can only do if you don't have somebody living underneath you downstairs. If you live on the second floor, third floor, if you live on any floor that's not floor number one, you don't want to do this because if somebody's living underneath you, they are going to think that the house is falling down. What this is, is the ball slam. Now, I know in here we got a nice strong floor. So if I drop the ball, it's not going to hurt the floor and there's nobody downstairs that that's going to upset. But if I don't want to just want to drop it, you know, dropping a ball is good. If I'm practicing my throws, I might start with just doing some drops. And then I might do a little bit of a lift 
and actually lift it up here by my face a little bit. So I pick it up by my face and throw it down. And that's actually gonna get a nice little bounce, but it doesn't quite get up to my hands. See this, I'm kinda, it's just not enough. So if I wanna really give it some oomph, I wanna get the ball up, watch this. Here we go, we're gonna do five big slams. Now you only do this if you're in a safe place. If you're sitting down too, remember you're gonna be, I'll show you in just a second. Well, here, let me do that first. I'm gonna do that one first. If I'm sitting down here and this isn't, this isn't a wheelchair, remember this is just a normal, uh, like a cafeteria chair, a very basic chair. So if I was in a wheelchair, I might not be able to do this straight down if I had a foot rest. What I would wanna do then is do this exercise with a partner. My partner would be standing in front of me. And so when I pick the ball up and slam it down, they can get it for me, hand it back. That way I don't have to lean super duper far forward, but I'm still picking up over my head and I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to try to bring it in front of my feet. Okay. Now, if I'm standing up with this one and I have a ball, now, if you don't have a ball, do it with the ball of energy, but I want you to pretend you, the ball of energy you have weighs 500 pounds. So you got to lift it up like it's super duper heavy. And then it's going to come down fast because it's 500 pound ball. Here we go. Three, two, one. And I'm able to catch it because I used my force and momentum. Remember when the drop, it, it barely came up here. And even when I did a little bit of a throw, it didn't work. But now look at this. If I get all the strength from my core, my arms, bring it up. Here we go. Three, two, one. It bounces right back up and I can catch it. Let's do three more of these. Here we go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, yes. Nice. All right. Everybody, that was the medicine ball slam. And now, again, if I go back to my True Fit Adaptive Fitness app, we have now done. There it is right there. Ball slam. We did the ball slam. Ball chop. Medicine ball overhead press. We did them all. We got Byron. He's coming on next. Byron is next, and he's going to be doing the flow. And then we got, I got one more I'm going to do. It's going to be those chair squats. And we did the ground touch. And then Bernie's going to get us with those jumping jacks. We're going to check this workout off. And everybody, it's only Monday. Oh, only yeah, Monday. Yeah. There's producer Ben in the house. I got one more to go, Ben. Ben jumped on the, the button there. There we go. All right, one more to go. With the chair squats, remember... You can use a chair. I'm going to show you two, two ways we can use the chair to squat. If we're sitting down already, if we're not going to stand up for this one, remember when, we, when I'm doing a squat with my legs, we're going to be doing that double arm raise and then kind of an abdominal tuck. So it's not just lowering the arms. Kind of squeeze your abdominals. And when you go up, I want you to stretch them. So stretch in those abdominals and then squeeze. So this would be the, the down and up. Now, if we had a chair, one way we could use it, I like it in the app like this, where we hold on to the back of the chair. All right, I can hold on to it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little bit of a squat. I'm using my arms and my legs. I'm gonna do 10 of these. And so I'm just doing a little bit of a squat and I can get pretty close to the chair here. The closer I am, the more you can see, I'm using my arms, I'm bending at my elbow, but I'm, I'm putting the weight still back into my glutes back into that big muscle. So I'm pushing down and up, down and up, down and up. Remember, if you're sitting down, we're gonna be bringing those elbows down and up. So again, down, up. This is a nice squat if I wanna hold on to something. Now, the other squat I can do again, I'm sitting down and I may be going up. So now I'm gonna sit down into the chair. And what's great about this is as I sit down, I'm gonna find that chair behind me and then be able to just to push myself right back up. Now, if I need to put my hands on my legs, that's okay. You want to try to be able to do it all on your own, or maybe even if you had a resistance bar, you could do it like this. Let's do one more. Nice job. Yeah, Carrie. Carrie's doing a, a serious push right there. That was excellent move, Carrie. Nice job. Remember, in the seated position, you're, you're able to engage those core muscles. And I'm, when I'm doing the squat, I'm also engaged. Core. Look how sweaty it's getting in here. It's hot. I got my fans turned all the way up. Yep. Somebody in San Marcos is like, Coach John, you didn't turn on the AC. And they're absolutely right. All right. So Byron coming up next. 
He's got the combo flow. He knows how it's going to go. After Byron, we're going to have Bernie joining us. Let's have a water break also. Uh, and oh, no problem. I got you, Ben, right here. Byron's in the house. All right, Byron, I'm going to call your play-by-play. -play. Woo, looking good in that teal shirt. Man, looking real good. Yeah. Paper. <laughs> nice oh. job, Byron. There you go, man. Carlos. Yeah. Okay. Jose, that's right. Jose. Look, there's Byron right there. Byron moving the bag back and forth. Right hand to left hand. Right hand to left hand. There you go, Byron. Moving it around. I'm getting my sandbag too. On Wednesday. I'll see you soon, Jose. Awesome, man. There you go, Byron, doing that side twist, side twist, bringing it all the way around, holding it with his fist around the back. And there he goes back into, ooh, he's doing the DJ where he's moving the record back and forth. Look at that. He's going right, left, right. Nice job. Galaxy tab. She's got it moving too. Look at Byron throwing it up in the air behind the back, flipping it with the flapjack. There he goes again, doing the bus driver side to side, turning that. There we go, turning all the way this way. Byron's holding that sandbag, moving it around. Nice job holding it up to his chest and bringing it down. Oh, he's getting into the low squat. He's down to the ground. Oh, doing a low flip. The low flip, a double low flip, a triple low flip, quadruple low flip. He did four, five flips in the squat position. Look at him going off the ground, hot potatoing around the body, around the knees. He's staying low. Doing what he pleased. There you go, Byron. Nice job. Popping it off the ground. Popping it up like it's hot. Bringing it up. Oh, holding it to his chest. Reaching out like the stinky diaper. And then bringing it down. Bringing it down to the ground. Nice, Byron. Keep it going. Keep it going. Nice job. Byron's touching the ground. Bringing it up. Ground touch. Bringing it back up. Oh, going between the legs. Here he is. Between the legs with the figure eight, getting ready to get that resistance bar going too. Remember, Byron, he does a combo. He does the sandbag. There goes the sandbag. I love it when he throws it away like that. Remember, everybody, I want you to work on throwing. It's going to help you in so many ways. All right, Byron has got that resistance bar. Byron, make sure to do a couple bar twists. I know you will. You and that's that. going to get us to check that off of the app. And Byron's got that resistance bar. He's starting off with the metal detector. He's going for the metal detector, reaching far out. You can do this with a wooden stick, too. You can do it with a broom. Reaching out, looking for treasure, holding that stick all the way at one end and using the other end as the metal detector. Now he goes into the baton spin. Spinning the stick, got the baton spin going. You can use your imagination. If you don't have a baton, you can just spin your arms. It's going to... Again, use your imagination as if you have that baton. All right. Byron's holding his hands up, up in the air, and he's walking backwards. I get to do this one now, too. I got a lot of space here in the studio. I can walk forwards and backwards with Byron. He's walking backwards, holding that stick up. Remember, everybody, moving backwards. Even if you are using a wheelchair, and even if it's a power-style wheelchair, moving backwards is going to make your brain really light up and really focus on the movement. And so practice backwards movement when you know that you're in a safe area. Byron's holding that stick up to his chest. He stopped moving forward and backwards. He's just holding it up. He's doing a pause. This is an isometric contraction. Byron's got the isometric contraction going, holding that stick out in front of his body. I have my thumb on the bottom. Oh, and he's got his thumbs on the bottom and, and no, all the fingers open. Look at that. Nice move, Byron. And remember, everybody, that's a 10-pound resistance bar. Great stuff, Byron. Do a couple more and then bring it on home. Bring it home. All right, going with the inchworm. The inchworm goes all the way down to the ground, hand over hand, moving the hands down, and then walking the hands back up, going hand over hand. Hand over hand. There you go. One hand under and one hand goes over. Nice job, Byron. Look at him going up and down. He's got it. Nice job, Byron. Inchworms moving and grooving. Oh, and Lumberjack. Look at that move. I'm bringing it right here. 
There we go. Byron's moving backwards in the lumberjack, getting all up in the camera right there. Nice job, Byron. Moving back. There you go. Moving forwards. Switching shoulders. Carefully switching shoulders. Bringing it on. Bringing it on home. Nice job, Byron. Here we go. Moving forward. Lumberjack going through the forest. And that's all that. Great job, good. Byron. Excellent. Now I'm in my new chair. <laughs> oh, man. Wonderful. Look at that. You got a new chair? That's oh, my that's new chair. That's a nice chair. I like that. You got the coffee cup on there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Man. And, 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 and I got me a cleaner. Oh, man. Good for you, man. Good for you. And John, Carrie did 25 squats. Yes. Oh, that's nice good. Nice job, Carrie. Excellent job. All right, everybody. Byron, remember, he was cruising us through that checklist on our workout for today. Let's have some water with Bernie. And on that on that uh, workout, remember, on the True Fit Adaptive Fitness app, we saw the very top workout of the exercise was jumping jacks. All right, we'll get that get that mute. Oh, Ben's on it. Ben just Ben's so quick. He's like he's like a fighter pilot, moving fast. All right, so look at that. We got jumping jacks right there, and if we click on jumping jacks. It shows us, look, there's Byron and Anthony doing jumping jacks right there. And we can learn all about it. But let's go here to the reps. And look at that, Bernie, right here. 55 reps. 55. I put that in the program just for you. 55 reps. Let's go ahead and do it, Bernie. I'm ready. All right. Deep breath in. 55. Five, four. Jumping jacks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. 27, 28, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. Yes. Great job, Bernie. Woo! That's a great heartbeat. Remember, everybody, jumping jacks are cardiovascular exercise. That's going to get your, it's going to make your heart beat faster so that it can get that blood through your body so that it can get the oxygen back into your muscles and it can get that carbon dioxide, get it on out of there. There it goes. Carbon dioxide out, oxygen in. All right, Bernie looks like she has her exercise stick and she is going to be leading us in, I believe, a baton spin. We're going to go for, for 30. All right, here we go. Bernie's going for endurance challenge. One, two, you count, Bernie. Real loud. Three. Even louder. Four. Even louder. There you go. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Nice job. That was great, Bernie. Also, Carrie, I saw those moves. That was great. Carrie was doing the helicopter style. Remember that baton spin, you can do it over your head. We call that one the helicopter. Bernie's now going to do the back stretch. This is where you just kind of lean forward and then you lean and back up. This one is for relaxing, taking it easy, letting the muscles stretch. 
There you go, Bernie. Nice job. All right. Bernie did that back stretch, and now she is getting her kettlebell. And I'm going to use a resistance bar. Some people might not have kettlebells out there, and I understand. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get Bernie's got it's blue. Look, mine's blue too. And here, let's share the spotlight, Bernie. I'm going to come up here. I want to work out with you. Let's be side by side. All right, Bernie's in the, she's in the main driver's seat. I'm over here in the passenger seat. I like that idea. All right. So remember, just like in our uh, app, we had the twist. We had that bar twist. Bernie's doing a kettlebell twist. Yeah. Three, four, five. Counting real loud. Six, there you go. Eight, nine, ten. Nice job, Bernie. And we got one more to go. And this on our app is called the flag bearer, but we call it here the Statue of Liberty. We are going to be reaching down to the ground, light the fire with your torch. And then you're going to lift it up and then down, down, up, and up. Three. Go, Bernie. Four. Five. Six. Seven. There you go. Eight. She's feeling it, everybody. Keep it going, Bernie. Ten. Oh, boy, bringing it home. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, Holding it up. Five, four, three, two. Yes. Nice job, Bernie. Again, thank you. Bernie just also got us to check off two more exercises on our True Fit Adaptive Fitness app. So we are, we're almost done with our workout. Now, I don't know. Ben, do you know if Carla was on here? I'm going to take a look also with you. Remember, me and Ben, we're working together. As co oh, Carla is here, and she has her hula hoop, which means, yes, everybody, there's a chance. If Carla does the hula spin, everyone, I think hey, we'll John, I'm so sorry. did not join in on Friday night because I got, in, I, uh, I got in invited to go to a, a gosh ranch party. That's okay. What am I saying? Sorry. Oh, look, look, look yes. at this, Carla. All we have left on our on our list is hula spin. So if you can do that with all of your exercises, yeah. that way we can check this off. Yeah, I just got it, we did just I got an invited in and and we got a text from my my sister got my brother, my nephew got a text from my mom that oh we got invited to a graduation party. Nice. A graduation nice. party. Happy sorry, graduation. So sorry. Sorry what are we gonna do that. with the hoop? Um, bus driver. The, the bus driver. All right, I love the bus One, driver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Inside the hoop. Ooh, inside Uno, the hoop. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10. And remember, everybody, she's counting for us in Spanish and English. Here she goes. One, this is the hula two, spin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Switch. I'm gonna do this one with the end of the stick. Here we go. Nice job, Carla. Pizza delivery. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, 
7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. 1, 2. It's not done. 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2. Helicopter. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. Yes, Carla. Awesome job gonna from the, Carla. Who's going to do the bear mom in the end? I think Nick. Okay. Can I do that once too? Because I didn't do it once. I didn't do it Friday yeah, night. Oh, because, yeah. Because nice I was in that Friday night. Sorry about that. Nice job. I, I saw Marco I doing a great job. Do party, so that's why it happened. No problem. I'll see you. Fire tablets all doing a great job. See you. I'll see you Wednesday. I'll see you on Wednesday. Great job, Carla. And everybody, remember, you just saw it. So, Nick, I know you're on the app. Remember, if you're on the True Fit Adaptive Fitness app, and you just did that workout with us, you can now go on your app and you can select that you've completed that workout and get your summer kickoff going and a great start. All right, Nick, you got time. We got one combo and then the breathing motto. And I'm just so excited to have my app workout checked off for the week. We're going to try to get in another workout on Wednesday on our app. So get ready for that. And if you're not on the app already, like Nick's told you, you got to get signed up. Nick, what do you got for us? What are the moves? Weights. All right, Nick is getting weights. All right, I'm going to look for my weights. I got some weights in here too. And I'm going to use, <coughs> I got a sandy weight and I got a, a dumbbell weight. But remember, it's a smart bell. I got this one right here. And I got this weight right here. Okay, what are we going to do, Nick? Can we do put up sky weight? Put up fun weight. All right, going push up sideways, push up front raise, and how many of that combo are we going to do? Ten. Okay, let me get in position for it, Nick. All right, everybody, if you're sitting down, what I want you to do, if you have the weights with you, you can use them, and we're just going to kind of have them on our legs. We, we'd rest down. We would do a push up off our legs, do the side raise, and then the push up, and then do the front raise. And here we go. All right, I'm going to get on the ground. Nick, you got to count them out for us. I'm on three. All right, he's on three. So Boom. I'm going push up, front raise, push up, side raise. Five. Did. Did Eight. Nine. And then. Nice job, Nick. Nick, let's have a sip of water and then that breathing motto. I know you yeah. got two more combos for us. So on Wednesday, we're going to get another combo from Nick. And then on Friday, we're going to get even another combo from Nick. And that's why we call him Combo Nick. We also call him Nick the team leader. Because remember, everybody, just like you, Nick, he was just watching our workouts, exercising along with me and our friends. Next thing you know, Nick said, I want to be a team leader. He's taken an exam. He took his test. He brought it home. He brought it back. He did his exam at the North Shore studio. And he has been leading us with creative ideas all on his own ever since then. So if you want to be a part of that too, remember, get on the app. Let us know that you want to be a team leader. We have a path to that, that uh, plan right there. We have a path to success. All right, Nick. Look at that. The ball just hit the camera. There we go. Uh, I'm sweating too, man. If you were here with me in the studio, you'd be like, Coach John, we got to go jump back in the pool with Hunter. Yeah. That was great. And remember, everybody, if you're going to be out there this summer, make sure you do a good pool refresher course before you get in the water. My buddy, he, he uh, learned that today. That Remember, that water can get deep, and it doesn't know that we might have a tough time swimming. So we got to make sure we're always – in a good situation that we're comfortable and safe in. All right, Nick. Yeah, good call. I got my towel. It's 2 p.m. Nice job, Karen. Thank you for being here. It was great to see your face earlier. Thank you so much, Karen. This is her idea. Nick, take it away. All right. Five, oh, you and Bernie. Two, three, two, and one, and breathe in the good. Breathe out the bad. Breathe in the happy. And breathe out the bad. 
We in your bed and we down the wood and we in your bower. Do you do we? You don't put everything yes. out of me. Nick right. and Bernie, that was awesome. Nick and Bernie, that was a great. Awesome. That Next was a class. duet. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Oh, that was so 